Sunan Abi Dawud types of blood wit, Kitab al Diyat. Sunan Abi Dawud types of blood wit, Kitab al Diyat narrated Abdullah ibn Abbas, Khareza and Nadir, were two Jewish tribes. And Nadir were nobler than Khareza. When a man of Khareza killed a man of a Nadir, he would be killed. But if a man of a Nadir killed a man of Khareza, a hundred wask of dates would be paid as blood money. When prophethood was bestowed upon the prophet, a man of a Nadir killed a man of Khareza. They said, Give him to us, we shall kill him. They replied, We have the prophet between you and us. So they came to him. Thereupon the following verse was revealed, If thou judge, judge in equity between them. In equity means life for a life. The following verse was then revealed. Do they seek of a judgment of the days, ignorance? Abu Dawud said, Khariza and al Nadir were the descendants of Harun the Prophet. Peace be upon him. Sunan Abi Dawud 4494 Reference 41 Hadith 1. Sunan Abi Dawud. Types of bloodwit, Kitab al Diyat narrated Abu Rimtha. I went to the Prophet with my father. The Messenger of Allah then asked my father, Is this your son? He replied, Yes, by the Lord of the Kaaba. He again said, Is it true? He said, I bear witness to it. The Messenger of Allah then smiled for my resemblance with my father, and for the fact that my father took an oath upon me. He then said, He will not bring evil on you, nor will you bring evil on him. The Messenger of Allah recited the verse, No bearer of burdens can bear the burden of another. Sunan Abi Dawud 4495 Reference 41 Hadith 2 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al Diyat narrated Abu Shirai al Khuzai. The Prophet said, If a relative of anyone is killed, or if he suffers Kabul, which means a wound, he may choose one of the three things. He may retaliate, or forgive, or receive compensation. But if he wishes a fourth, that is something more, hold his hands. After this whoever exceeds the limits shall be in grave penalty. Sunan Abi Dawud 4496 Reference 41 Hadith 3 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al Diyat narrated Anas ibn Malik. I never saw the Messenger of Allah that some dispute which involved retaliation was brought to him but he commanded regarding it for remission. Sunan Abi Dawud 4497 Reference 41 Hadith 4 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al Diyat narrated Abu Huraira. A man was killed in the lifetime of the Prophet. The matter was brought to the Prophet. He entrusted him to the legal guardian of the slain. The slayer said, Messenger of Allah, I swear by Allah, I did not intend to kill him. The Messenger of Allah said to the legal guardian, Now if he is true and you kill him, you will enter hell fire. So he let him go. His hands were tied with a strap. He came out pulling his strap. Hence he was called Du and Nisa, possessor of strap. Sunan Abi Dawud 4498 Reference 41 Hadith 5 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al Diyat narrated Wail ibn Hujr. I was with the Prophet when a man who was a murderer and had a strap round his neck was brought to him. He then called the legal guardian of the victim and asked him, Do you forgive him? He said, Number. He asked, Will you accept the blood money? He said, Number. He asked, Will you kill him? He said, Yes. He said, Take him. When he turned his back, he said, Do you forgive him? He said, Number. He said, Will you accept the blood money? He said, Number. He said, Will you kill him? He said, Yes. He said, Take him. After repeating all this a fourth time, he said, 
If you forgive him, he will bear the burden of his own sin and the sin of the victim. He then forgave him. He, the narrator, said, I saw him pulling the strap. Sunan Abi Dawud 4499 Reference 41 Hadith 6 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat the tradition mentioned above has also been transmitted by al kamabi Wail through a different chain of narrators and to the same effect. Sunan Abi Dawud 4500 Reference 41 Hadith 7 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Whale, B. Hujur. A man brought an Abyssinian to the Prophet and said, This man has killed my nephew. He asked, How did you kill him? He replied, I struck his head with axe but I did not intend to kill him. He asked, Have you some money so that you pay his bloodwit? He said, Number. He said, what is your opinion if I send you so that you ask the people, for money, and thus collect your blood wit? He said, Number. He asked, Will your masters give you his blood wit, to pay his relatives? He said, Number. He said to the man, Take him. So he brought him out to kill him. The messenger of Allah said, If he kill him, he will be like him. This statement reached the man where he was listening to his statement. He said, He is here, order regarding him as you like. The messenger of Allah said, Leave him alone. And he once said, He will bear the burden of the sin of the slain and that of his own and thus he will become one of the companions of hell. So he let him go. Sunan Abi Dawud 4501 Reference 41 Hadith 8 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Abu Umama ibn Sal. We were with Uthman when he was besieged in the house. There was an entrance to the house. He who entered it heard the speech of those who were in the bilat. Uthman then entered it. He came out to us, looking pale. He said, They are threatening to kill me now. We said, Allah will be sufficient for you against them commander of the faithful. He asked, Why kill me? I heard the messenger of Allah say, It is not lawful to kill a man who is a Muslim except for one of the three reasons. Kufr. Disbelief. After accepting Islam. Fornication after marriage, or wrongfully killing someone, for which he may be killed. I swear by Allah, I have not committed fornication before or after the coming of Islam nor did I ever want another religion for me instead of my religion since Allah gave guidance to me, nor have I killed anyone. So for what reason do you want to kill me? Abu Dawud said, Uthman and Abu Bakr, Allah be pleased with them, abandoned drinking wine in pre-Islamic Sunan Abi Dawud 4502 Reference 41 Hadith 9 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat Times. Sunan Abi Dawud 4502 Reference 41 Hadith 9 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat Narrated Ziyad ibn Sa'd ibn Dumaira as Sulami. On the authority of his father, Sa'd, and his grandfather, Dumaira. According to Musa's version, who were present in the battle of Hunayn with the Messenger of Allah. After the advent of Islam, Muhalam ibn Jathama al Alaythi killed a man of Asia. That was the first blood money decided by the Messenger of Allah, for payment. Uyayna spoke about the killing of al Ashjai, for he belonged to Ghadafan, and al Akra ibn Habas spoke on behalf of Muhalam, for he belonged to Kanduf. The voices rose high, and the dispute and noise grew. So the Messenger of Allah said, Do you not accept blood money, Uyena? Uyena then said, No, I swear by Allah, until I cause his women to suffer the same fighting and grief as he caused my women to suffer. Again the voices rose high, and the dispute and noise grew. The Messenger of Allah said, Do you not accept the blood money, Uyena? 
Uyena gave the same reply as before, and a man of Banu Laith called Sunan Abi Dawud 4503 reference 41 Hadith 10. Sunan Abi Dawud, types of bloodwit, Kitab al Diyat Mukadal stood up. He had a weapon and a skin shield in his hand. He said, I do not find in the beginning of Islam any illustration for what he has done except the one that some sheep came on, and those in the front were shot. Hence those in the rear ran away. The other example is that, make a law today and change it. The Messenger of Allah said, 50, camels, here immediately and 50 when we return to Medina. This happened during some of his journeys. Muhallam was a tall man of dark complexion. He was with the people. They continued to make effort for him until he was released. He sat before the Messenger of Allah with his eyes flowing. He said, Messenger of Allah, I have done the act of which you have been informed. I repent to Allah, the exalted, so ask Allah's forgiveness for me. Messenger of Allah, the Messenger of Allah then said, Did you kill him with your weapon at the beginning of Islam? O oh Allah, do not forgive Muhallam. He said these words loudly. Abu Salama Sunan Abi Dawud 4503 Reference 41 Hadith 10 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al Diyat added. He, Muhallam, then got up while he was wiping his tears with the end of his garment. Ibn Ishaq said, His people alleged that the Messenger of Allah asked forgiveness for him after that. Abu Dawud said, al Nader b. Shumail said, al Gr means blood wit. Sunan Abi Dawud 4503 Reference 41 Hadith 10 Sunan Abi Dawud Types of bloodwit, Kitab al Diyat narrated Abu Shuraib al Kabi. The Prophet said, Then you, Kuzah, have killed this man of Hudhail, but I will pay his bloodwit. After these words of mine, if a man of anyone is killed, his people will have a choice to accept bloodwit or to kill him. Sunan Abi Dawud 4504, Reference 41, Hadith 11. Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al Diyat narrated Abu Huraira. When Mecca was conquered, the Messenger of Allah got up and said, If a relative of anyone is killed, he will have a choice between two. He, the slayer, will either pay the bloodwit or he will be killed. A man of the Yemen called Abu Shah stood up and said, Write for me, Messenger of Allah. The narrator Al Abbas, b. Al Walid, said, Write to me, you people. The Messenger of Allah said, Write, you people, for Abu Shah. These are the wordings of the tradition of Ahmad. Abu Dawud said, Write, you people, for me, that is, the address of the Prophet. Sunan Abi Dawud 4505, Reference 41, Hadith 12. Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al Diyat narrated Amr b. Shu'ab. On his father's authority, said that his grandfather reported the Prophet said, A believer will not be killed for an infidel. If anyone kills a man deliberately, he is to be handed over to the relatives of the one who has been killed. If they wish, they may kill, but if they wish, they may accept Bloodwit Sunan Abi Dawud 4506 Reference 41 Hadith 13 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al Diyat narrated Habir ibn Abdullah. The Prophet said, I will not forgive anyone who kills after accepting Bloodwit Sunan Abi Dawud 4507 Reference 41 Hadith 14 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al Diyat narrated Anas bin Malik. A Jewess brought a poisoned sheep to the Messenger of Allah, and he ate of it. She was then brought to the Messenger of Allah who asked her about it. She said, I intended to kill you. He said, 
Allah will not give you control over it, or he said, over me. They, the companions, said, should we not kill her? He said, number. He, Anas, said, I always found it in the uvula of the messenger of Allah Sunan Abi Dawud 4508 reference 41 hadith 15. Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diya narrated Abu Huraira. A Jewess presented a poisoned sheep to the Prophet, but the Prophet did not interfere with he. Abu Dawud said, The Jewess who poisoned the Prophet was sister of Marhab. Sunan Abi Dawud 4509 Reference 41 Hadith 16 Sunan Abi Dawud Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Ibn Shihab. Habir ibn Abdullah used to say that a Jewess from the inhabitants of Kaibar poisoned a roasted sheep and presented it to the Messenger of Allah who took its foreleg and ate from it. A group of his companions also ate with him. The Messenger of Allah then said, Take your hands away, from the food. The Messenger of Allah then sent someone to the Jewess and he called her. He said to her, Have you poisoned this sheep? The Jewess replied, Who has informed you? He said, This foreleg which I have in my hand has informed me. She said, Yes. He said, What did you intend by it? She said, I thought if you were a prophet, it would not harm you. If you were not a prophet, we should rid ourselves of him. That is the prophet. The Messenger of Allah then forgave her, and did not punish her. But some of his companions who ate it, died. The Messenger of Allah had himself cupped on his shoulder on account of that which he had eaten from the sheep. Abu Hind cupped him with the Sunan Abi Dawud 4510 Reference 41 Hadith 17. Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat Horn and Knife he was a client of Banu Bayada from the Ansar. Sunan Abi Dawud 4510 Reference 41 Hadith 17 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Abu Salama. A Jewess presented a roasted sheep to the Messenger of Allah at Kaibar. He then mentioned the rest of the tradition like that of Habir, number 4495. He said, Then Bashir ibn al-Bara ibn Marur al-Ansari died. He sent someone to call on the Jewess, and said to her, When she came, what motivated you to do the work you have done? He then mentioned the rest of the tradition similar to the one mentioned by Habir, number 4495. The Messenger of Allah then ordered regarding her and she was killed. But he, Abu Salama, did not mention the matter of cupping. Sunan Abi Dawud 4511 Reference 41 Hadith 18 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Abu Huraira. The Messenger of Allah would accept a present, but would not accept alms, sadaka. And Wab bin Bachia narrated to us, elsewhere, from Khalid, from Muhammad peace be upon him Ibn Amr said on the authority of Abu Salama, and he did not mention the name of Abu Huraira. The Messenger of Allah used to accept presents but not alms, sadaka. This version adds. So a Jewess presented him at Kaibar with a roasted sheep which she had poisoned. The Messenger of Allah ate of it and the people also ate. He then said. Take away your hands, from the food, for it has informed me that it is poisoned. Bishr ibn al-Bara ibn Marur al-Ansari died. So he, the Prophet, sent for the Jewess, and said to her, What motivated you to do the work you have done? She said, If you were a Prophet, it would not harm you, but if you were a king, I should rid the people of you. The Messenger of Allah then ordered regarding her and she was killed. He then said about the pain of which Sunan Abi Dawud 4512 Reference 41 Hadith 19. Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat he died. 
I continued to feel pain from the morsel which I had eaten at Kaibar. This is the time when it has cut off my aorta. Sunan Abi Dawud 4512 Reference 41 Hadith 19 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al Diyat narrated Ibn Kab b. Malik. On the authority of his father, Um Mubashir said to the Prophet during the sickness of which he died, What do you think about your illness, Messenger of Allah? I do not think about the illness of my son except the poisoned sheep of which he had eaten with you at Kaibar. The Prophet said, And I do not think about my illness except that. This is the time when it cut off my aorta. Abu Dawud said, Sometime Abd al-Razak transmitted this tradition, omitting the link of the companion, from Mamr, from al-Zuri, from the Prophet and sometimes he transmitted it from al-Zuri from Abd al-Rahman b. Kab b. Malik. Abd al-Rahman mentioned that Mamr sometimes transmitted the tradition in a Mursal form, omitting the link of the companion, and they recorded it. And all this is correct with us. Abd al-Razak said, when Ibn al-Mubarak came to Mamr, he transmitted the traditions in a Musnad form, with a perfect chain which he transmitted as mock traditions. Statements Sunan Abi Dawud 4513 Reference 41 Hadith 20 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al-Diyad of the Companions and not of the Prophet. Sunan Abi Dawud 4513 Reference 41 Hadith 20 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al Diyat narrated Abd al Rahman b. Abd Allah b. Kab b. Malik. On the authority of his mother, then Am Mubashir said, Abu Sa'id b. Al Arabi said, So he said it on the authority of his mother. What is correct is, On the authority of his father, instead of his mother, I entered upon the Prophet. He then mentioned the tradition of Maklad b. Call it in a way similar to the tradition of Habir. The narrator said, Then Bishr b. al Bara b. Maror died. So he, the Prophet, sent for the Jewess and said, What did motivate you for your work you have done? He, the narrator, then mentioned the rest of the tradition like the tradition of Habir. The Messenger of Allah ordered regarding her and she was killed. He, the narrator in this version, did not mention cupping. Sunan Abi Dawud 4514 Reference 41 Hadith 21 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al Diyat narrated Samura. The Prophet said, If anyone kills his slave, we shall kill him, and if anyone cuts off the nose of his slave, we shall cut off his nose. Sunan Abi Dawud 4515 Reference 41 Hadith 22 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al Diyat narrated Katada. Through the same chain of narrators as mentioned before, that is Samura reported the Messenger of Allah as saying, If anyone castrates his slave, we shall castrate him. He then mentioned the rest of the tradition like that of Shuba and Hamad. Abu Dawud said, Abu Dawud al Talisi transmitted it from Hisham like the tradition of Mu'ad. Sunan Abi Dawud 4516 Reference 41 Hadith 23 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al Diyat Katada transmitted the tradition mentioned above through a chain of narrators like that of Shuba. This version adds Then al Hassan forgot this tradition, and he used to say, A free man is not to be killed for a slave. Sunan Abi Dawud 4517 Reference 41 Hadith 24 Sunan Abi Dawud Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al Diyat, it was narrated from Hisham, from Katada, from al Hassan, who said, A free man should not be subjected to retaliation in return for a slave. 
Sunan Abi Dawud 4518 Reference 41 Hadith 25 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Amr B. Shu'ab. On his father's authority, said that his grandfather told that a, a man came to the Prophet crying for help. He said, His slave girl, Messenger of Allah. He said, Woe to you, what happened with you? He said that it was an evil one. He saw the slave girl of his master. He became jealous of him, and cut off his penis. The Messenger of Allah said, Bring the man to me. The man was called, but people could not get control over him. The Messenger of Allah then said, Go away, you are free. He asked, Messenger of Allah, Upon whom does my help lie? He replied, On every believer, or he said, On every Muslim. Abu Dawud said, the name of the man who was emancipated was Ra B. Dinar Abu Dawud said. The man who cut off the penis was Zinba Abu Dawud said. The Zinba Abu Ra was master of the slave. Sunan Abi Dawud 4519 Reference 41 Hadith 26 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Sal B. Abi Hathma and Rafi B. Kadish. Muhayasa B. Masood and Abd Allah B. Saul came to Kaibar and parted from each other among palm trees. Abd Allah B. Saul was killed. The Jews were blamed for the murder. Abd al Rahman B. Saul and Huwayasa and Muhayasa, the sons of his uncle, Masood, came to the Prophet. Abd al Rahman who was the youngest, spoke about his brother, but the Messenger of Allah said to him, Respect, the elder, respect, the elder, or he said, Let the eldest begin. They then spoke about their friend and the Messenger of Allah said, Fifty of you should take oaths regarding a man from them, the Jews, and he should be entrusted, to him, with his rope, in his neck. They said, It is a matter which we did not see. How can we take oaths? He said. The Jews exonerate themselves by the oaths of fifty of them. They said. Messenger of Allah. They are a people who are infidels. So the Messenger of Allah paid them bloodwit himself. Saul said. Once I entered the Sunan Abbey Dawud 4520 Reference 41 Hadith 27. Sunan Abbey Dawud. Types of bloodwit, Kitab al diyat resting place of their camels, and the she camel struck me with her left. Hamad said this or something similar to it. Abu Dawud said, another version transmitted by Yahya B. said has, would you swear fifty oaths and make you claim regarding your friend or your slain man? Bishr, the transmitter, did mention blood. Abda transmitted it from Yahya as transmitted by Hamad. Ibn Uyayna has also transmitted it from Yahya, and began with his words. The Jew will exonerate themselves by fifty oaths which they will swear. He did not mention the claim. Abu Dawud said. This is a misunderstanding on the part of Ibn Uyayna. Sunan Abi Dawud 4520 Reference 41 Hadith 27 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat Sal B. Abi Hathma and some senior men of the tribe told that Abd Allah B. Abi Saul and Muhiyasa came to Kaibar on account of the calamity, that is famine, that befall them. Muhiyasa came and told the Abd Allah B. Saul had been killed and thrown in a well or stream. He hen came to the Jews and said, I swear by Allah, you have killed him. They said, We swear by Allah, we have not killed him. He then proceeded and came to his tribe and mentioned this to them. Then he, his brother Huwayasa, who was older to him, and Abd al Rahman b. Saul came forward, to the Prophet. Muhayasa began to speak. It was he who was at Kaibar. The Messenger of Allah then said to him, Let the eldest speak. Let the eldest speak, 
meaning age. So Huwayasa spoke, and after him Muvayasa spoke. The messenger of Allah then said, they should either pay the bloodwit for you friend or they should be prepared for war. So the messenger of Allah wrote to them about it. They wrote, in reply, we swear by Sunan Abi Dawud 4521 Reference 41 Hadith 28 Sunan Abi Dawud Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat Allah, We have not killed him. The Messenger of Allah then said to Huwayasa, Muhiyasa and Abd al-Rahman, Will you take an oath and thus have the claim to the blood of your friend? They said, Number, he, the Prophet, said, the Jews will then take an oath. They said, they are not Muslims. Then the Messenger of Allah himself paid the bloodwit. The Messenger of Allah then sent on one hundred she-camels and they were entered in their house. Saul said, a red she-camel of them gave me a kick. Sunan Abi Dawud 4521 Reference 41 Hadith 28 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Amr b. Shu'ayd. The Messenger of Allah killed a man of Banu Nadir ibn Malik at Hera ar Riga at the bank of Layyid al Bara. The transmitter Mahmud, ibn Khalid, also mentioned the words along with the words at Bara the slayer and the slain were from among them. Mahmud alone transmitted in this tradition the words at the bank of Layya. Sunan Abi Dawud 4522 Reference 41 Hadith 29 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Bashir b. Yasar. That a man of the Ansar called Saul b. Abi Hathma told him that some people of his tribe went to Kaibar and separated there. They found one of them slain. They said to those with whom they had found him, You have killed our friend. They replied, We did not kill him, nor do we know the slayer. We, the people of the slain, then went to the Prophet of Allah. He said to them, Bring proof against the one who has slain him. They replied, We have no proof. He said, Then they will take an oath for you. They said, we do not accept the oaths of the Jews. The Messenger of Allah did not like no responsibility should be fixed for his blood. So he himself paid his bloodwit consisting of 100 camels of Sadika, that is camels sent to the Prophet as Zakat. Sunan Abi Dawud 4523 Reference 41 Hadith 30 Sunan Abi Dawud Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Rafi ibn Qadij. A man of the Ansar was killed at Kaibar and his relatives went to the Prophet and mentioned that to him. He asked, Have you two witnesses who can testify to the murderer of your friend? They replied, Messenger of Allah. There was not a single Muslim present, but only Jews who sometimes have the audacity to do even greater crimes than this. He said, then choose fifty of them and demand that they take an oath. But they refused and the Prophet paid the bloodwit himself. Sunan Abi Dawud 4524 Reference 41 Hadith 31 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Abd al-Rahman b. Bujaid. I swear by Allah, Saul had a misunderstanding about this tradition. The Messenger of Allah wrote to the Jews, A slain man has been found among us to you, so pay his bloodwit. They wrote, to him, Swearing by Allah fifty oaths, we neither killed him nor do we know his slayer. He said, Then the Messenger of Allah himself paid his bloodwit which consisted of one hundred she-camels. Sunan Abi Dawud 4525 Reference 41 Hadith 32 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Abu Salama b. Abd al-Rahman and Sulayman b. Yasar. On the authority of some men of the Ansar, 
the prophet said to the Jews and started with them, Fifty of you should take the oaths. But they refused to take the oaths. He then said to the Ansar, Prove your claim. They said, Do we take the oaths without seeing, Messenger of Allah? The Messenger of Allah then imposed the bloodwit on the Jews because he, the slain, was found among them. Sunan Abi Dawud 4526 Reference 41 Hadith 33 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Anas. A girl was found with her head crushed between two stones. She was asked, Who has done this to you? Is it so and so? Is it so and so? Until a Jew was named, and she gave a sign with her head. The Jew was caught ad he admitted. So the Prophet gave command that his head should be crushed with stones. Sunan Abi Dawud 4527 Reference 41 Hadith 34 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Anas. A Jew killed a girl of the Ansar for her ornaments. He then threw her in a well, and crushed her head with stones. He was then arrested and brought to the Prophet. He ordered regarding him that he should be stoned to death. He was then stoned till he died. Abu Dawud said, It has been transmitted by Ibn Jaray from Ayyub in a similar way. Sunan Abi Dawud 4528 Reference 41 Hadith 35 Sunan Abi Dawud Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Anas. A girl was wearing silver ornaments. A Jew crushed her head with a stone. The Messenger of Allah entered upon her when she had some breath. He said to her, Who has killed you? Had so and so killed you? She replied, No, making a sign with her head. He again asked, Who has killed you? Has so and so killed you? She replied, No, making a sign with her head. He again asked, Has so and so killed you? She said, Yes making sign with her head. The Messenger of Allah commanded regarding him, and he was killed between two stones. Sunan Abi Dawud 4529 Reference 41 Hadith 36 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Kays ibn Abd. I and Ashtar went to Ali and said to him, did the Messenger of Allah give you any instruction about anything for which he did not give any instruction to the people in general? He said, No, except what is contained in this document of mine. Musadad said, He then took out a document. Ahmad said, A document from the sheath of his sword. It contained. The lives of all Muslims are equal. They are one hand against others. The lowliest of them can guarantee their protection. Beware! A Muslim must not be killed for an infidel, nor must one who has been given a covenant be killed while his covenant holds. If anyone introduces an innovation, he will be responsible for it. If anyone introduces an innovation or gives shelter to a man who introduces an innovation, in religion, he is cursed by Allah, by his angels, and by all the people. Musadad said, Ibn Abu Yoruba's version has, he took out a document. Sunan Abi Dawud 4530 Reference 41 Hadith 37 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Amr B. Sahib. On his father's authority, said that his grandfather reported the Messenger of Allah said, mentioning the tradition similar to the one transmitted by Ali. This version adds, the most distant of them gives protection as from all. Those who are strong among them send back, spoil, to those who are weak among them, and their expeditions sending it back to those who are at home. Sunan Abi Dawud 4531 Reference 41 Hadith 38 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Abu Huraira. That's sad b. Ubadah said, 
Messenger of Allah. If a man finds a man with his wife, should he kill him? The Messenger of Allah said, Number. Sad. Why not, by him who has honored you with truth? The Prophet said, Listen to what your chief is saying. The narrator Abd al-Wahhab said, Listen, to what Sa'd is saying. Sunan Abi Dawud 4532 Reference 41 Hadith 39 Sunan Abi Dawud Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diya narrated Abu Huraira. That Sa'd be. Yubida said to the Messenger of Allah, what do you think if I find with my wife a man? Should I give him some time until I bring four witnesses? He said, Yes. Sunan Abi Dawud 4533 Reference 41 Hadith 40 Sunan Abi Dawud Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Aisha. Amul Muminin. The Prophet sent Abu Jam ibn Hudhaifa as a collector of zakat. A man quarreled with him about his sadaqah, that is zakat, and Abu Jam struck him and wounded his head. His people came to the Prophet and said, Revenge, Messenger of Allah. The Prophet said, You may have so much and so much. But they did not agree. He again said, You may have so much and so much. But they did not agree. He again said, you may have so much and so much. So they agreed. The Prophet said, I am going to address the people in the afternoon and tell them about your consent. They said, Yes. Addressing the people, the Messenger of Allah said, These people of faith came to me asking for revenge. I presented them with so much and so much and they agreed. Do you agree? They said, Number. The immigrants, Muhajirun, intended, to take revenge, on them. But the Messenger of Allah commanded them to refrain and they refrained. He then called them and increased, the amount, and asked, Sunan Abi Dawud 4534 Reference 41 Hadith 41 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat Do you agree? They replied, Yes, he said, I am going to address the people and tell them about your consent. They said, Yes, the Prophet addressed and said, Do you agree? They said, Yes, Sunan Abi Dawud 4534 Reference 41 Hadith 41 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat Narrated Anas a girl was found with her head crushed between two stones. She was asked, Who did it with you? Was it so and so? Was it so and so? Until the Jew was named. Thereupon she gave a sign with her head. The Jew was arrested and he admitted. So the Prophet gave command that his head should be crushed with stones. Sunan Abi Dawud 4535 Reference 41 Hadith 42 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Abu Sa'id al-Qudri. When the Messenger of Allah was distributing something, a man came towards him and bent down on him. The Messenger of Allah struck him with a bow and his face was wounded. The Messenger of Allah said to him, Come and take retaliation. He said, No, I have forgiven, Messenger of Allah. Sunan Abi Dawud 4536 Reference 41 Hadith 43 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat Narrated Abu Furaz, Umar B. Al-Khattab, Ra, Addressed us and said, I did not send my collectors, of Zakat, so that they strike your bodies and that they take your property. If that is done with someone and he appeals to me, I shall take retaliation on him. Amr ibn al is said, If any man, that is governor, inflicts disciplinary punishment on his subjects, would you take retaliation on him too? He said, Yes, by him in whose hand my soul is, I shall take retaliation on him. 
I saw that the Messenger of Allah has given retaliation on himself. Sunan Abi Dawud 4537 Reference 41 Hadith 44 Sunan Abi Dawud Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Aisha. Amul Muminin. The Prophet said. The disputants should refrain from taking retaliation. The one who is nearer should forgive first and then the one who is next to him, even if, the one who forgives, were a woman. Abu Dawud said. I have been informed that forgiving by women in the case of murder is permissible if a woman were one of the heirs, of the slain. I have been told on the authority of Abu Ubaid about the meaning of the word Yanhajizu, that is, they should refrain from retaliation. Sunan Abi Dawud 4538 Reference 41 Hadith 45 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat Tawis, in his version said, If anyone is killed. Ibn Ubaid in his version said, the Messenger of Allah said, If anyone is killed in error, blindly, when people are throwing stones, or by beating with whips, or striking with a stick, it is accidental and the compensation for accidental death is due. But if anyone is killed deliberately, retaliation is due. Ibn Ubaid in his version, Retaliation of the man is due. The agreed version then goes, If anyone comes in, between the two parties, to prevent it, Allah's curse and anger will rest on him, and neither supererogatory nor obligatory acts will be accepted from him. The version of the tradition of Sufyan is more perfect. Sunan Abi Dawud 4539 Reference 41 Hadith 46 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Ibn Abbas, the Messenger of Allah as saying. He then mentioned the rest of the tradition to the same effect as mentioned by Sufyan. Sunan Abi Dawud 4540 Reference 41 Hadith 47 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Amr b. Sahib. On his father's authority, said that his grandfather reported the Messenger of Allah gave judgment that if anyone is killed accidentally, his blood wit should be one hundred camels, thirty she camels which had entered their second year, thirty she camels which had entered their third year, thirty she camels which had entered their fourth year, and ten male camels which had entered their third year. Sunan Abi Dawud 4541 Reference 41 Hadith 48 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Amr b. Sahib. On his father's authority, said that his grandfather reported that the value of the blood money at the time of the Messenger of Allah was 800 dinars or 8,000 dirhams, and the blood money for the people of the book was half of that for Muslims. He said, This applied till Umar. Allah be pleased with him became caliph and he made a speech in which he said, Take note. Camels have become dear, so Umar fixed the value for those who possessed gold at 1,000 dinars, for those who possessed silver at 12,000 dirhams, for those who possessed cattle at 200 cows, for those who possessed sheep at 2,000 sheep, and for those who possessed suits of clothing at 200 suits. He left the blood money for dhimmis, protected people, as it was, not raising it in proportion to the increase he made in the blood wit. Sunan Abi Dawud 4542 Reference 41 Hadith 49 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Blood Wit, Kitab al diyat narrated Atta ibn Abu Raba. The Messenger of Allah gave judgment that blood wit for those who possessed camels should be 100 camels, and for those who possessed cattle 200 cows, and for those who possessed sheep 1,000 sheep, and for those who possessed suits of clothing 200 suits, and for those who possessed wheat something which the narrator Muhammad peace be upon him. Ibn Ishaq, did not remember. Sunan Abi Dawud 4543 Reference 41 Hadith 50 
Sunan Abi Dawud, types of blood wit, Kitab al diyat Abu Dawud said, I read out to said B. Yaqub al Talakini who said, Abu Tumela transmitted to us, saying, Muhammad peace be upon him B. Isak transmitted to us saying, Atta reported Habir B. Abd Allah as saying, The Messenger of Allah fixed, and he mentioned the tradition like that of Musa. He said, And those who possess corn food should pay something which I do not remember. Sunan Abi Dawud 4544 Reference 41 Hadith 51 Sunan Abi Dawud Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Abdullah ibn Masood. The Prophet said, The bloodwit for accidental killing should be twenty she camels which had entered their fourth year, twenty she camels which had entered their fifth year, twenty she camels which had entered their second year, twenty she camels which had entered their third year, and twenty male camels which had entered their second year. It does not beyond Ibn Masood. Sunan Abi Dawud 4545 Reference 41 Hadith 52 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Abdullah ibn Abbas. A man of Banu Adi was killed. The Prophet fixed his bloodwit at the rate of 12,000 dirhams. Abu Dawud said, Ibn Uyayna transmitted it from Amr, from Ikrima from the Prophet, and he did not mention Ibn Abbas. Sunan Abi Dawud 4546 Reference 41 Hadith 53 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Abdullah ibn Amr. Musadad's version has, The Messenger of Allah made a speech on the day of the conquest of Mecca, and said, Allah is most great, three times. He then said, There is no God but Allah alone. He fulfilled his promise, helped his servant, and alone defeated the companies. The narrator said smiley face. I have remembered from Musadad up to this. Then the agreed version has. Take note. All the merits mentioned in pre-Islamic times, and the claim made for blood or property are under my feet, except the supply of water to the pilgrims and the custody of the Kaaba. He then said, The blood money for unintentional murder which appears intentional, such as is done with a whip and a stick, is 100 camels, 40 of which are pregnant. Musadad's version is more accurate. Sunan Abi Dawud 4547 Reference 41 Hadith 54 Sunan Abi Dawud Types of bloodwit, Kitab al diyat the tradition mentioned above has also been transmitted by Khalid through the same chain of narrators to the same effect. Sunan Abi Dawud 4548 Reference 41 Hadith 55 Sunan Abi Dawud Types of bloodwit, Kitab al diyat the tradition mentioned above has also been transmitted by Ibn Umar from the Prophet to the same effect. This version has the Messenger of Allah addressed on the day of conquest, or he said, on the conquest of Mecca on the ladder of the house or of the Kaaba. Abu Dawud said, in a similar way of Ibn Uyayna also transmitted it from Ali b. Zayd, from al Qasim b. Rabia, from Ibn Umar, from the Prophet, and Ayyub al Suqtiani transmitted it from al Qasim b. Rabia from Abd Allah b. Amr like the tradition of Khalid. Hamad b. Salama also transmitted it from Ali b. Zayd, from Yaqub al Sadusi, on the authority of Abd Allah b. Amr from the Prophet. The statements of Zayd and of Abu Musa are similar to the tradition of the Prophet and to the tradition of Umar. Allah be pleased with him. Sunan Abi Dawud 4549 Reference 41 Hadith 56 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Mujahid. Umar gave judgment that bloodwit for quasi-intentional murder should be 30 she-camels in their fourth year, 30 she-camels in their fifth year, 
and forty pregnant she camels in their sixth year up to the ninth Sunan Abbey Dawud 4550 reference 41 Hadith 57. Sunan Abbey Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al Diyat narrated Abd Allah, B. Masood. The bloodwit for unintentional murder, which resembles intentional, is 25 she camels which entered their fourth year, 25 she camels which had entered their fifth year, 25 she camels which had entered their third year, and 25 camels which had entered their second year. Sunan Abi Dawud 4551 Reference 41 Hadith 58 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al Diyat narrated Ali. The bloodwit for unintentional murder is in four parts. 25 she camels in their fourth year, 25 she camels in their fifth year, 25 she camels in their third year, and 2025 she camels in their second year. Sunan Abi Dawud 4552 Reference 41 Hadith 59 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al Diyat narrated Uthman b. Afan and Zayd b. Thabit. The bloodwit for what resembled intentional murder should be 40 pregnant she camels in their fifth year, 30 she camels in their fourth year, and 30 she camels in their third year. The bloodwit for unintentional murder is 30 she camels in their fourth year, 30 she camels in their third year, and 20 she camels in their second year. Sunan Abi Dawud 4553 Reference 41 Hadith 60 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al Diyat narrated Zayd b. Thabit. About the bloodwit for quasi intentional murder. He then mentioned a similar tradition as mentioned above. Sunan Abi Dawud 4554 Reference 41 Hadith 61 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al Diyat narrated Abu Dawud. Abu Dawud and others have said, When a she camel enters fourth year, the female is called Hika, and the male is called Hiqq, for it deserves that it should be loaded and ridden. When a camel enters its fifth year, the male is called Jada and the female is called Jada. When it enters its sixth year, and sheds its front teeth, it is called Thani, male, and Taniya, female. When it enters its seventh year, it is called Raba and Rabia. When it enters its ninth year and cuts its canine teeth, it is called Basil. When it enters its tenth year, it is called Mukleef. Then there is no name for it, but is called Basilum and Basilamane, and Mukleefum and Mukleefamane, up to any year it increases. Nad D. Shumail said, Bint Makad is a she camel of one year, and Bin Laban is s she camel of two years. Hika is a she camel of three years. Jada is a she camel of four years. Thani is a camel of five years. Raba is a camel of six years. Sadis is a camel of seven years. Sunan Abi Dawud 4555 Reference 41 Hadith 62. Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al Diyat and Basil is a camel of eight years. Abu Dawud said, Abu Hadam and al Asmai said, Al Jadu'a is a time when no tooth is growing. Abu Hadam said, Some of them said, When it sheds its teeth between front and canine teeth, it is called Raba, and when it sheds its front teeth, it is called Thani. Abu Ubaid said, when it becomes pregnant, it is called Khalifa, and it remains Khalifa for ten months. When it reaches ten months, it is called Ushara, Abu Hadam said. When it shed its front teeth, it is called Thani and when it sheds its teeth between front and canine teeth it is called Raba. Sunan Abi Dawud 4555 Reference 41 Hadith 62 Sunan Abi Dawud Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al Diyat narrated Abu Musa. The Prophet said, The fingers are equal. Ten camels for each finger. 
Sunan Abi Dawud 4556 Reference 41 Hadith 63 Sunan Abi Dawud Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diya narrated Abu Musa al-Ashari. The Prophet said, The fingers are equal. I asked, Ten camels for each? He replied, Yes. Abu Dawud said, Muhammad peace be upon him be. Jafar transmitted it from Shuba, from Galib, saying, I heard Masruk be. Oz. And Ismail transmitted it, saying, Galib al-Tamar transmitted it to me through the chain of Abu al-Walid, and Hans Labi. Abi Safiya transmitted it from Galib through the chain of Ismail. Sunan Abi Dawud 4557 Reference 41 Hadith 64 Sunan Abi Dawud. Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Ibn Abbas. The Messenger of Allah as saying, this and that are equal, that is, the thumb and the little finger. Sunan Abi Dawud 4558 Reference 41 Hadith 65 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Abdullah ibn Abbas. The Prophet said, The fingers are equal and the teeth are equal. The front tooth and the molar tooth are equal, this and that are equal. Abu Dawud said, Nader B. Shumail transmitted it from Shuba to the same effect as mentioned by Abd al-Samad. Abu Dawud said, Al-Darimi narrated it to me from al-Nader. Sunan Abi Dawud 4559 Reference 41 Hadith 66 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Abdullah ibn Abbas. The Prophet said, The teeth are equal, and the fingers are equal. Sunan Abi Dawud 4560 Reference 41 Hadith 67 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Abdullah ibn Abbas. The Messenger of Allah treated the fingers and toes as equal. Sunan Abi Dawud 4561 Reference 41 Hadith 68 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Amr B. Sahib. On his father's authority, said that his grandfather said, the Prophet said in his address while he was leaning against the Kaaba. The Bloodwit, for each finger is ten camels. Sunan Abi Dawud 4562 Reference 41 Hadith 69 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Amr B. Sahib. On his father's authority, said that his grandfather said, The Prophet said, For each tooth are ten camels. Sunan Abi Dawud 4563 Reference 41 Hadith 70 Sunan Abi Dawud Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Abu Dawud. I found in my notebook from Shaban and I did not hear from him. Abu Bakr, a reliable friend of ours, said, Shaban, Muhammad peace be upon him be. Rashid, Sulayman b. Musad, Amr b. Sahib, on his father's authority, said that his grandfather said, the Messenger of Allah would fix the blood money for accidental killing at the rate of 400 dinars or their equivalent in silver for townsmen, and he would fix it according to the price of camels. So when they were dear, he increased the amount to be paid, and when cheap prices prevailed he reduced the amount to be paid. In the time of the Messenger of Allah they reached between 400 and 800 dinars, their equivalent in silver being 8,000 dirhams. He said, The Messenger of Allah gave judgment that those who possessed cattle should pay 200 cows, and those who possessed sheep 2,000 sheep. He said, The Messenger of Allah said, The blood money is to be treated as something Sunan Abi Dawud 4564 Reference 41 Hadith 71. Sunan Abi Dawud 
types of blood wit, Kitab al diyat to be inherited by the heirs of the one who has been killed, and the remainder should be divided among the agnates. He said, The Messenger of Allah gave judgment that for cutting off a nose completely there was full blood money, 100, camels, were to be paid. If the tip of the nose was cut off, half of the blood money, that is 50 camels were to be paid, or their equivalent in gold or in silver, or a hundred cows, or one thousand sheep. For the hand, when it was cut of, f half of the blood money was to be paid, for one foot of half, the blood money was to be paid. For a wound in the head, a third of the blood money was due, that is thirty-three camels and a third of the blood money, or their equivalent in gold, silver, cows or sheep. For a head thrust which reaches the body, the same blood money was to be paid. Ten camels were to be paid for every finger, and five camels for every tooth. The Messenger of Allah gave judgment that the blood money for woman should be divided soon in Abi Dawud 4564 Reference 41 Hadith 71. Sunan Abi Dawud types of blood wit, Kitab al diyat among her relatives on her father's side, who did not inherit anything from her except the residence of her heirs. If she was killed, her blood money should be distributed among her heirs, and they would have the right of taking revenge on the murderer. The Messenger of Allah said, There is nothing for the murderer, and if he, the victim, has no heir, his heir will be the one who is nearest to him among the people but the murderer should not inherit anything. Muhammad peace be upon him said, All this has been transmitted to me by Sulaiman ibn Musa on the authority of Amr ibn Shu'ayb who, on his father's authority, said that his grandfather heard it from the Prophet. Abu Dawud said, Muhammad peace be upon him be. Rashid, an inhabitant of Damascus, fled from Basra escaping murder. Sunan Abi Dawud 4564 Reference 41 Hadith 71 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Amr b. Sahib. On his father's authority, said that his grandfather reported the Prophet said, Bloodwit for what resembles intentional murder is to be made as severe as that for intentional murder, but the culprit is not to be killed. Khalid gave us some additional information on the authority of Ibn Rashid. That, unintentional murder which resembles intentional murder, means that Satan jumps among the people and then the blood is shed blindly without any malice and weapon. Sunan Abi Dawud 4565 Reference 41 Hadith 72 Sunan Abi Dawud Types of blood wit, Kitab al diyat narrated Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al as. The Prophet said, Blood wit for every wound which lays bare a bone is five camels. Sunan Abi Dawud 4566 Reference 41 Hadith 73 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of blood wit, Kitab al diyat narrated Amr b. Sahib. On his father's authority, said that his grandfather said, The Messenger of Allah gave judgment that a third of the blood wit should be paid for an eye fixed in its place. Sunan Abi Dawud 4567 Reference 41 Hadith 74 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Blood Wit, Kitab al diyat narrated al mugira b. Shuba. A man of Hudale has two wives. One of them struck her fellow wife with a tent pole and killed her and her unborn child. They brought the dispute to the Prophet. One of two men said, How can we pay bloodwit for the one who did not make a noise, or ate, nor drank, nor raised his voice? He, the Prophet, asked, Is it rhymed prose like that a Bedouin? He gave judgment that a male or female slave of the best quality should be paid in compensation, and he fixed it to be paid by woman's relatives on her father's side. Sunan Abi Dawud 4568 Reference 41 Hadith 75 Sunan Abi Dawud, 
Types of blood wit, Kitab al diyat the tradition mentioned above has also been transmitted by Mansur through a different chain of narrators and to the same effect. This version adds, The Prophet fixed the blood wit for the slain woman to be paid by the relatives of the woman who had slain her, on the father's side. Abu Dawud said, In a similar way it has been transmitted by Al-Hakam from Mujahid from Al-Mugira. Sunan Abi Dawud 4569 Reference 41 Hadith 76 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Blood Wit, Kitab al diyat narrated al miswar b. Makrama. Umar consulted the people about the compensation of abortion of woman. al mugira b. Shuba said, I was present with the Messenger of Allah when he gave judgment that a male or female slave should testify you. So he brought Muhammad peace be upon him be. Maslama to him. Harun added. He then testified him. Imlas means a man striking the belly of his wife. Abu Dawud said. I have been informed that Abu Ubaid said. It, abortion, is called Imlas because the woman causes it to slip before the time of delivery. Similarly, anything which slips from the hand or from some other thing is called malasa, slipped. Sunan Abi Dawud 4570 Reference 41 Hadith 77 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Blood Wit, Kitab al diyat the tradition mentioned above has also been transmitted by Umar through a different chain of narrators to the same effect. Abu Dawud said, Hamad B. Zayd and Hamad b. Salama transmitted it from Hisham b. Aruba on his father's authority who said that Umar said. Sunan Abi Dawud 4571 Reference 41 Hadith 78 Sunan Abi Dawud. Types of blood wit, Kitab al diyat narrated Ibn Abbas. Umar asked about the decision of the Prophet about that, that is abortion. Hamil b. Malik b. Al Nabiga got up and said, I was between two women. One of them struck another with a rolling pin, killing both her and what was in her womb. So the Messenger of Allah gave judgment that the bloodwit for the unborn child should be a male or a female slave of the best quality and that she should be killed. Abu Dawud said, Al Nader b. Shumail said, Mista means a rolling pin. Abu Dawud said. Abu Ubaid said. Mista means a pole from the tent poles. Sunan Abi Dawud 4572 Reference 41 Hadith 79 Sunan Abi Dawud. Types of blood wit, Kitab al diyat narrated Tawis. Umar stood on the pulpit. He then mentioned the rest of the tradition to the same effect as mentioned before. He did not mention that she should be killed. This version adds. A male or a female slave. Umar then said. Allah is most great. Had I not heard it, we would have decided about it something else. Sunan Abi Dawud 4573 Reference 41 Hadith 80 Sunan Abi Dawud. Types of blood wit, Kitab al diyat narrated Abdullah ibn Abbas. About the story of Hamil ibn Malik, Ibn Abbas said, She aborted a child who had grown hair and was dead, and the woman also died. He, the prophet, gave judgment that the blood wit was to be paid by the woman's relatives on the father's side. Her uncle said, Messenger of Allah, she has aborted a child who had grown hair. The father of the woman who had slain said, He is a liar. I swear by Allah. He did not raise his voice, or drink or eat. No compensation is to be paid for an offense like this. The Prophet said. Is it a rhymed prose of pre-Islamic Arabia and its soothsaying? Pay a male or female slave of the best quality in compensation for the child. Ibn Abbas said. The name of one of them was Mulaika, and the name of the other was Um Butaif. Sunan Abi Dawud 4574 Reference 41 Hadith 81 Sunan Abi Dawud, 
Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Habir ibn Abdullah. One of the two women of Hudhail killed the other, each of them had husband and sons. The Messenger of Allah fixed the bloodwit for the slain woman to be paid by the woman's relatives on the father's side. He declared her husband and the child innocent. The relatives of the woman who killed said, We shall inherit from her. The Messenger of Allah said, No, her sons and her husband should inherit from her. Sunan Abi Dawud 4575 Reference 41 Hadith 82 Sunan Abi Dawud Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Abu Huraira. Two women of Hudail fought together and one of them threw a stone at the other and killed her. They brought their dispute to the Messenger of Allah who gave judgment that a male or female slave of the best quality should be given as compensation for her unborn child, and he fixed it to be paid by the woman's relatives on the father's side. He made her sons and those who were with them her heirs. Hamal b. Malik b. al-Nabigha al-Hudali said, Messenger of Allah, how should I be fined for one who has not drunk, or eaten or spoken? or raised his voice, adding that compensation is not to be paid for such an offense. The Messenger of Allah said, This man simply belonged to the soothsayers on account of his rhymed prose which he has used. Sunan Abi Dawud 4576 Reference 41 Hadith 83 Sunan Abi Dawud Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Abu Huraira. About this story. Then the woman, against whom he decided that a male or female should be paid for her, died. The Messenger of Allah then gave judgment that her sons will inherit from her, and the bloodwit should be paid by her relatives on the father's side. Sunan Abi Dawud 4577 Reference 41 Hadith 84 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Bareda ibn al-Hasid. A woman threw a stone at another woman and she aborted. The dispute was brought to the Messenger of Allah. He gave judgment that five hundred sheep should be paid for her, unborn, child, and forbade throwing stones. Abu Dawud said, The version of this tradition goes in this way, that is five hundred sheep. What is correct is 100 sheep. Abu Dawud said. Abbas transmitted this tradition this way, but it is misunderstanding. Sunan Abi Dawud 4578 Reference 41 Hadith 85 Sunan Abi Dawud. Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Abu Huraira. The Messenger of Allah gave judgment that a male or a female slave, or a horse or a mule should be paid for a miscarriage. Abu Dawud said, Hamad b. Salama and Khalid b. Abd Allah transmitted this tradition from Muhammad peace be upon him b. Amr. But they did not mention or a horse or a mule Sunan Abi Dawud 4579 Reference 41 Hadith 86 Sunan Abi Dawud Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated al-Shabi. The price of a male or a female slave is 500 dirhams. Abu Dawud said. Rabia said. The price of a male or a female slave is 50 dinars. Sunan Abi Dawud 4580 Reference 41 Hadith 87 Sunan Abi Dawud Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Abdullah ibn Abbas. The Messenger of Allah gave judgment about the slave who had made an agreement to purchase his freedom, Mukatab, and he had been killed that Bloodwit is paid for him at the rate paid for a free man so far as he has paid the purchase money, and at the rate paid for a slave as the remainder is concerned. Sunan Abi Dawud 4581 Reference 41 Hadith 88 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Abdullah ibn Abbas. The Prophet said, When a Mukatab, a slave who has made an agreement to purchase his freedom, 
gifts blood money or an inheritance, he can inherit in accordance with the extent to which he has been emancipated. Abu Dawud said, Wuhab transmitted it from Ayyub, from Ikrima, on the authority of Ali, from the Prophet, and Hamad b. Zayd and Ismail have transmitted it in a Mursal form, i.e. the link of the companion being missing, from Ayyub, from Ikrima, from the Prophet. Ismail b. Yulaya has treated it as a statement of Ikrima. Sunan Abi Dawud 4582 Reference 41 Hadith 89 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Amr b. Sahib. On his father's authority, said that his grandfather reported the Messenger of Allah said, The bloodwit for a man who makes a covenant is half of the bloodwit for a free man. Abu Dawud said, It has been transmitted by Usama b. Zayd al Laythi and Abd al Rahman b. al Harif on the authority of Amr b. Sahib in similar manner. Sunan Abi Dawud 4583 Reference 41 Hadith 90 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Safwan b. Yala. On this father's authority, said, A servant of mine fought with a man and bit his hand and he drew away his hand. One of his front teeth fell out. So he came to the Prophet who imposed no retaliation for his tooth, saying, Do you intend that he leaves his hand in your mouth so that you crunch it like a male camel? He said, Ibn Abi Mulaika told me on the authority of his grandfather that Abu Bakr, Ra, imposed no retaliation on him for it, saying, May his tooth go away. Sunan Abi Dawud 4584 Reference 41 Hadith 91 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat The tradition mentioned above has also been transmitted by Yala B. Umayya through a different chain of narrators. This version has. The Prophet said to the man bit him. If you wish that you give him control over your hand and he bites it and then you drive it away from his mouth, you may do it. He imposed no retaliation for his teeth. Sunan Abi Dawud 4585 Reference 41 Hadith 92 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Amr b. Sahib. On his father's authority, said that his grandfather reported the messenger of Allah said, Anyone who practices medicine when he is not known as a practitioner will be held responsible. Abu Dawud said, This has been transmitted by Al-Walid alone. We do not know whether it is sound or not. Sunan Abi Dawud 4586 Reference 41 Hadith 93 Sunan Abi Dawud Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Abdulaziz ibn Umar ibn Abdulaziz. Some people of the deputation which came to my father reported the Messenger of Allah as saying, Any physician who practices medicine when he was not known as a practitioner before that and he harms the patients, he will be held responsible. Abdulaziz said, Here physician does not refer to a man by qualification. It means opening a vein incision and cauterization. Sunan Abi Dawud 4587 Reference 41 Hadith 94 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al -Az. The Prophet said, Musadad's version has. He addressed on the day of conquest. The agreed version then goes, Beware. Every object of pride of pre-Islamic times, whether it is blood vengeance or property, mentioned or claimed, has been put under my feet except supply of water to the pilgrims and custody of the house, the Kaaba. He then said, Beware! The blood wit for unintentional murder, such as is done with a whip and stick, is one hundred camels, forty of which are pregnant. Sunan Abi Dawud 4588 Reference 41 Hadith 95 
Sunan Abi Dawud, types of blood wit, Kitab al diyat the tradition mentioned above has also been transmitted by Khalid with a different chain of narrators to the same effect. Sunan Abi Dawud 4589 Reference 41 Hadith 96 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Blood Wit, Kitab al diyat narrated Imran ibn Husayn. A servant of some poor people cut off the ear of the servant of some rich people. His people came to the Prophet and said, Messenger of Allah. We are poor people, so he imposed no compensation on them. Sunan Abi Dawud 4590 Reference 41 Hadith 97 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Abdullah ibn Abbas. The Prophet said, If anyone is killed blindly or, when people are throwing stones, by a stone or a whip, his bloodwit is the bloodwit for an accidental murder. But if anyone is killed intentionally, retaliation is due. If anyone tries to prevent it, the curse of Allah, of angels, and of all the people will rest on him. Sunan Abi Dawud 4591 Reference 41 Hadith 98 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Abu Huraira. The Prophet said, no recompense is to be demanded if one is kicked by an animal. Abu Dawud said, An animal kicks someone with its leg while one is riding on it. Sunan Abi Dawud 4592 Reference 41 Hadith 99 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Abu Huraira. The Messenger of Allah as saying, no retaliation is payable for a wound caused by a dumb animal, for a mine, and for a well. On the treasure found buried in the land there is a fifth. Abu Dawud said, A dumb animal means an animal which is free and has not tether, and there is no one, as a watchman, with it. It causes harm by day and not by night. Sunan Abi Dawud 4593 Reference 41 Hadith 100 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Abu Huraira. The Prophet said, No recompense may be demanded if the fire spreads. Sunan Abi Dawud 4594 Reference 41 Hadith 101 Sunan Abi Dawud, Types of Bloodwit, Kitab al diyat narrated Anas bin Malik, al rubayi sister of Anna's B. Al Nader, broke, one of, the front teeth of a woman. They came to the Prophet. He made a decision in accordance with the Book of Allah that retaliation should be taken. Anna's B. Al Nader said, I swear by him who has sent you the truth, her front tooth will not be broken today. He replied, Anna's, Allah's decree is retaliation. But the people were agreeable to accepting a fine, so the Prophet said, Among Allah's servants there are those who, if they adjured Allah, he, Allah, would consent to it. Abu Dawud said, I heard Ahmad B. Hanbal say. He was asked, How retaliation of a tooth is taken? He said, It is broken with a file. Sunan Abi Dawud 4595 Reference 41 Hadith 102